good, water signs? How y'all going? Or oh, whatever. How's everybody feeling today? Okay, water signs. This is going to be for my Pisces, my Scorpios, and my Cancers. What's good, y'all? What's tea? What's new? What it do? What's going on? Like, what's tea? We about to find out right now. This is for my Cancers, my Pisces, and my Scorpios. How y'all doing? We are going to go ahead and just get a quick energy update for my elements. For the remainder of the year, I do not like to timestamp my readings. I feel like they are timeless. If you stumble across this, there is a message in here for you whenever you decide to stumble across it, okay? So, water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to go ahead and see what your angels need you to know. What do your angels want you to know, water signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, y'all. Let's jump right into it. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Let's get it. What do your angels need you to know? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What do your ancestors, angels need you to know? Why did I say ancestors? Okay. Specifically, maybe this could be an ancestor of yours that needs you to know something. So, that could be for a specific person. But what do your angels need you to know? We got two. Let's get it. All right, first one, acceptance, water sign. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So this is basically telling me that your angels want you to basically accept people for who they are in whatever way, shape, or form that they come into your life. If you want that person to be a part of your life, water sign, then you have to roll with the punches, play the cards that you were dealt, okay? Your, 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 your aunt, angels, uh, get your words yes <laughs> your angels basically want you to know that this person is who they are you cannot change who they are you have to just accept and embrace who this person is okay you cannot change people people only change when they want to so fully accept whoever it is that you're dealing with this could be friends this could be family this could be lovers but accept this situation ship friendship relationship for what it is and who they are so play the cards that you are dealt okay you also have giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So this is clear as day. Your angels want you to know that giving and receiving is necessary. You have to equally be able to benefit from whoever it is that's in your life. So this could be um, your angels angels acknowledging that maybe um water sign you have been giving too much or this could also be your angels acknowledging that maybe water sign you have been receiving too much so obviously there's some type of balance here that your angels want you to understand is necessary in order for you to fully be successful right now okay you could be around some energy vampires is what i just heard as well so be careful um water sign protect your energetic space right now make sure that everybody within your circle within your life is giving you an even exchange of energy okay Okay, you cannot be a positive, fully surcharged vibration and you're surrounded by nothing but negative entities. Okay, so your angels definitely want you to pay attention to the people within you, or around you, surrounding you. Fully accept them for who they are, but also make sure that everybody is giving you an even exchange of vibration, an even exchange of frequency. You should not have nobody in your circle if you are pouring into them more than they're pouring into you. Get into it. X them off that list real quick. All right, let's jump right in to it <laughs> how y'all doing water signs how y'all doing niggas a lot of cards don't you about to find out right now how y'all doing oh okay so you have judgment here to the six of cups with the five of cups okay so the five of cups is your conflict you're feeling a little regretful here you're changing your focus as well but judgment is here to some type of uh, of ch of childhood relation past life relationship as well with the six of cups here you have j um judgment here pertaining to some type of um childlike energy with the six of cups you also have death to the ace of swords to the strength card okay we got leo in the building we got scorpio in the building okay introduce your shit what's up we got the five of swords as well 
and we also have the higher font. Okay, so you have judgment to some type of past life relationship here with judgment to the Six of Cups. Um, your conflict here, though, is that you're feeling some sort of regret here, I see. You're seeking some type of change and transformation here with the Scorpio energy. You have death here as well. You want change and transformation to previous ways of communication with the Ace of Swords. You also want to be able to find some type of strength to win some type of battle here with the Five of Swords as well. So the strength card, this Leo energy down here, you could be dealing with the Leo. You could also be dealing with the Scorpio here. Or Scorpio, this could be you. What's up, water sign? How you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm also getting Libra energy up here in your underlying energy as well. But somebody is basically trying to find the strength to win some type of battle or lose some type of battle here. And I think this is pertaining to some type of union or some type of knowledge with the higher font. The higher font is a teacher, okay? He is very knowledgeable, universal knowledge. So let's go ahead and go a little deep real quick and see why is judgment here to the six of cups what type of judgment is being worked out when it comes to a past life relationship or when it comes to some type of child that i'm feeling here is somebody regretting some type of um verdict or some type of judgment here pertaining to some type of child here water sign why is judgment here to the six of cups okay that was too 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 many that was way too many okay Way too many, Spirit. Way too many. Way too many. Way too many. Why is judgment here to the Six of Cups? I definitely feel like this could also be in the form of some type of child support as well. Is somebody receiving a different verdict pertaining to their children or pertaining to their child? Is their child, um, is your kids going away to college? I just seen that as well. Okay, congratulations. If you're sending some kids off to school here, water sign, I see that you're extremely happy. This is extremely successful for you. But why is judgment here to the Six of Cups? All right. You have the seven of pentacles and the three of swords. So there is some type of, yeah, there is somebody in the past here. I feel like even though this is the underlying energy, somebody in the past has hurt some type of past life relationship, some type of um, past life soulmate here. Somebody is heartbroken over some type of past life connection here. There are some type of foundations being laid here pertaining to what type of judgment comes into play when it comes to mending some type of broken heart here um, at I don't feel third party situation. Honestly, I don't. Um, I really don't. But the th the three of swords is also here with the conflict. So your conflict is that you regret a heartbreak. Did you inflict a heartbreak water sign? Was a heartbreak inflicted upon you? Why is death here to the ace of swords? Why is death here to the ace of swords, spirit? Somebody is trying to change and transform some type of communication here. Okay, it's a victory. You got the six of wands. So somebody wants to make moves towards changing and transforming a previous way of communicating. They're working on themselves here. The seven of wands is giving me internal work. Like they're working on their... um their coins okay they're working on their um their the, the way that they approach this type of change and transformation here the ace of swords to the six of wands is truly a victory okay you are victorious whatever you're changing and transforming here scorpio i feel like i'm speaking to you scorpio um whatever you're changing and transforming here scorpio you're definitely successful at it um the cards is doing what they want i just did three readings y'all sorry um you're definitely just seeing death again you're definitely successful at it. Oh, you got strength clarifying strength. Are you dealing with a Leo, water sign? Are you dealing with a Leo? Are you trying to change and transform how you approach communication with this Leo here? Oh, strength. Oh, this Leo is intimidating to you, water sign. Are you afraid to communicate with this Leo here? Are you afraid that the communication that you want to bring in is going to bring you an L? You, do you want to win that bad, little Scorpio? <laughs> Are you really trying to win that bad? I'm going to tell you one thing this leo is nothing to play with you got strength confirming strength leo is here in the building introduce your shit what's up leo how you doing baby how you doing 
So somebody is trying to change and transform communication with their Leo, but they're ultimately afraid with this five of swords here that they will lose this battle because in the past you've inflicted some type of heartbreak towards this fire sign and this fire sign, you regret it with the five of, 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 of cups. You are so regretful. You have five of cups, five of swords, but you're completing the cycle of heartbreak here with the three of swords. You are now ready to complete the cycle of the heartbreak. This is also stagnated energy. Judgment is coming in to eliminate the seven of pentacles stagnated i'm to myself i'm reserved i'm just behind the scenes building and building no your past life soulmate here is hurt you regret hurting your past life soulmate here with the six of um cups to the three of swords and the five of cups you regret that shit and now, basically, you are ready to change and transform the situation here, Scorpio. I feel like I'm speaking to a Scorpio. This could be any sign. Just, you know, get in where you fit in. Plug yourself into the, uh, the, when it resonates with your intuition, just plug yourself in as you see fit. But somebody is intimidated by this fire sign. Somebody is afraid of communication with this fire sign. I feel like this fire sign, because of the heartbreak caused to this fire sign with the three of swords, is ready to eat your head alive like they ready to come at your neck water sign or this could be you ready to come at this fire signs neck here because it's like yeah you want to change and transform the communication you want to victoriously come towards me make sure you come at me correctly because i'm ready to to you somebody's tongue is sharp okay and i think that's why this fire sign is coming off very 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 strong and intimidating down here this fire sign energy is heavy real heavy super heavy and i feel like here um scorpio scorpio i'm feeling you baby i'm feeling you i feel like i'm speaking to a scorpio um damn it you could be embodying this intimidating energy here you could just be dealing with a fire sign that feels intimidated by you as well you have the moon okay pisces um this could also be any water sign i feel like this is your energy here so somebody wants to change and transform the way that they used to previously communicate with a fire sign there are some lies here these lies here that came with the moon or secrets whatever you want to call them caused the heartbreak here okay somebody is now regretting that they inflicted this heartbreak here towards this fire sign and because they want to change and transform the way that they previously communicated they're afraid of having this victory because they don't know what you're going to say or you don't know what they're going to say period this is clear as day you don't know what they're going to say you're afraid of whether you're gonna win or lose this change or transformation and communication you're afraid about if this person is going to be receptive to the truth here as well we got the empress at the, at, at the bottom of the deck hey boo how you doing um you're afraid of communicating somebody wants to change and transform coming in and telling you the truth they regret not telling you the truth here they regret that the, the, the lack thereof truth caused you this heartbreak here. Because in all actuality, you are a past life soulmate. This could be you. This could be your person, okay? Get in where you fit in. But you are a past life soulmate. Um, they did break your heart. They are now regretful of that energy with the three of swords to the five of cups. And they want to change and transform. They want a victory in communication, okay? But they're afraid of what you're going to say when they come in and give you this truth here. You are intimidating as crap. What's up, Cancer? Introduce your shit. So what's up? We got the chariot here with the five of swords to the chariot in the higher font. So somebody is definitely, regardless if they're afraid of what you're going to say, they will be making moves towards communication. The communication is a revolving around some type of secrets or some type of lies that has caused you some type of heartbreak in the past here water sign they are regretful of that shit somebody is truly regretful this energy right here these are tears these are tears somebody is crying the five of cups to this moon somebody is literally crying somebody is regretful that they did not make moves towards telling you this truth here okay i feel like this is all you down here water sign and your person that you're dealing with is this fire sign. I feel like as much as this Leo energy seems intimidating, you are truly the one that's intimidating them. They don't know that if they if they make this move here with the Six of Wands towards this brand new communication here with the Ace of Swords about these lies here pertaining to some fire sign. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but Leo, Leo was in the building somebody is dealing with the leo please comment down below i know i know what i see 
um somebody is dealing with the leo here you have strength clarifying strength okay this is very intimidating this is very this is enough to make any nigga insecure so water sign you could be embodying this type of strength that has somebody afraid to approach you here with communication with communication pertaining to secrets with communication pertaining to lies whatever has caused you this heartbreak in the past somebody regrets breaking your heart they now understand that this ace of swords is a brand new beginning in communication as long as they believe in themselves because damn it you are you are enough to be insecure about okay your energy is screaming this like very sure of myself very aware of myself come at me correct or don't come at me at all you got this talk to me nice vibe okay i'm here for it water sign you got this talk to me nice or don't talk to me twice vibe okay let's go ahead and go over our one more time i just want to see why is judgment here to the six of cups are you dealing with it that john flipped and then flipped right back okay somebody is rejecting a past life soulmate or somebody has rejected a past life soulmate somebody is not willing to open up to the fact that this is somebody judgment is here basically because this is a part of your contract right somebody is trying to refuse that offer that the universe has bought them in the form of a past life soulmate now though they're regretful of that they are regretting that they basically rejected this offer previously you got the nine of wands clarifying the six of cups and the five of cups so somebody is basically this is my creep card watching you water sign somebody is watching you because they, they they feel so regretful that they basically turn their back here on the past life um situation with the four of cups to the six of cups the nine of wands is just he done been through it all he's came to the end of the battle and it's like he's resting he's reconsidering but he's just watching he's staying and with this five of cups to this nine of wands energy somebody is so regretful it's causing them to not be able to take action why is the death card here to the ace of swords spirit why is the death card here to the ace of swords yeah somebody is truly up in their feelings got a nigga in his feelings oh what a sign <laughs> you got a nigga in his feelings in his feelings Oh, you got the world. Okay. So there is a brand new cycle here pertaining to change and transformation around surrounding communication. Okay. The universe is coming in to deliver a brand new cycle. The cycle, the previous cycle was the rejection, was the regret. The universe is now changing and transforming the fact that this person originally rejected the offer from the universe. It's changing and transforming the stagnated energy here with the nine of wands. Like somebody is just watching you. So ain't nobody making no moves. Ain't nobody making no communication yet because this is what's getting ready to happen or this is what that person wants to happen. Remember, niggas lie the cards don't get into it so somebody is just watching you here this is my creep card spirit knows this is my creep card somebody is just watching you here they're watching you blossom here with the judgment card they're watching you also possibly change your focus away from this person here as well with the five of cups but you do have a brand new cycle here that the universe is trying to grant you in the form of the ace of swords so in the form of some type of communication there's change and transformation hey what's up you got virgo in the building what's up virgo introduce your shit so the hermit all right there is change and transformation a brand new cycle pertaining to communication you could be dealing with a virgo or leo here as well this could be a leo virgo cusp as well i'm a leo virgo cusp what's up y'all you could be dealing with a leo virgo cusp sign or you could just be dealing with a virgo embodying a lot of strength right now and because see mm, this is a double threat double threat right here virgos the hermit he seeks universal knowledge the virgos are very smart we're known for our analytical capabilities because we could read a book and at the end of the book we're gonna be like wow 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 we seek knowledge you know what i'm saying so not only is this person book smart street smart this person embodies an aura that is extremely intimidating to you this person is extremely spiritual as well this person is extremely enlightened but they're also beautiful they're radiant here with the strength card this could be your water sign i'm feeling like this is you you are triple threat okay and this person now 
whoever your person is, they're watching you. They're watching you be um, street smart, book smart, beautiful, radiant. And it's like they're afraid of approaching any type of communication with you here with the Ace of Swords to the Five of Swords because they're afraid that they're going to take some type of L. They're afraid that you, I think they're afraid that you might just, shit, Leo energy, you might just, I don't know. Are you, are you that hurt that they're afraid that whatever they've done to you, honestly, I feel like you might not be receptive to their brand new beginning in communication. But regardless, water sign is coming in. You have the world here. They're manifesting some brand new cycle here. Um, ooh, hermit. The hermit showed up and kind of threw me off. We about to clarify this uh, strength card to the five of swords. Why is the strength card here to the five of swords? Did we get two or did we get one? We got two. Okay, Sagittarius is in the building. Introduce your shit. What's up, Sag? Um, so we have temperance. So this is balance. This is going to be balanced to that whole energy that that person is feeling like, do I approach her? Do I not approach her? Am I going to win this? Am I going to lose this? This is balance. But the page of swords, I got both of my creep cards out here. The nine of wands and the page of swords. The page is a very immature energy pertaining to communication. Um, He's going to come in and give you less versus more. And he's also a creep. He's just going to sit there and watch you until he feels like he can manifest his union with you. And I think also the page of swords to this higher font card here, somebody is watching you and seeing you being some type of marriage material they're afraid here with temperance they're afraid that there won't be balance towards the type of union that they want to manifest with you here water sign they're afraid here that if they change and transforming embark on this brand new cycle here with death to the world pertaining to this communication here this could just be some type of spiritual communication that they want to have with you as well or religious communication metaphysical communication esoteric communication whatever you believe in whatever communication that they're trying to man manifest with you they're afraid that it's not you're not going to be receptive to it so here it's like they're praying for this Sagittarius temperance energy to balance out maybe they're feeling like they're a little immature with it and that's why they're just sitting back watching you but honestly honey bunches of oats <laughs> they see you as marriage material so they're doing themselves an extreme injustice right now by not taking that leap of faith because the page of swords to the ace of swords is like i don't know that's a little contradicting energy to me it's like that that shows you what they want to do versus what they're doing they want to have this ace of swords brand new beginning in communication with you water sign but they're not doing it they're watching you with the page of swords they're just watching you are they watching you be a teacher are they watching you be a leader here water sign are you are you currently doing something that involves you to really be in the limelight here i feel like that somebody is watching you on some type of social media platform mm, ten of swords mm, 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 mm. they hurting themselves because they refuse to find balance in communication the person that you're dealing with is extremely pained and hurt right now okay they are very conflicted internally when it comes to how to basically stop being a creep and start making some moves. This is clear as day. I hope this resonated with your intuition, water signs. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Do what you do best. I really love you guys. Love, peace, light, and blessings. Mwah.